has a lot of connotation. Okay. It's very informative All right. because uh, the, the, the title portrays a lot of things. All right. We will get to that in, yes. in a moment. But I just, again, uh, something that came to my mind. You are very young at your age, but it, uh, since you have started writing, you have already made some interesting and, um, you know, uh, breakthroughs, not only in the Gambia, but beyond the source of the Gambia as well. How do you feel your work has been recognized in Africa? in Americas and some part of the world as well, uh, after all being Gambia being one of the smallest countries in, in the world, but yet still you are young and doing a work which has been appreciated by people who have realized that you are doing such a, um, an epic um, you know, work in your area as well of, of, of writing. Uh, Alhamdulillah, I feel very delighted because I, I noticed that it's not what I do, okay. but it's, it's who we are mm. and it's our country. I have never seen myself as the best in what I do. Okay. Even if, like, uh, for example, mm -hmm. the, I am being awarded. Yeah. They say you won an award, so we are going to present this to you. I make sure that I, I know the details before the event. When they write the word best there, I don't receive it. Because, because a human being is a thinking being, is endowed with dignity and self-worth. And the moment people started calling you best, you have that pride in you. You yeah. feel like you are better than everybody. Everybody knows me to be that simple human being mm -hmm. who started from nowhere mm -hmm. and who is heading somewhere. Mm -hmm. So what I'm doing is a representation of the Gambian culture. Most of what I write is the historical oral tradition of the Gambia. It depicts the behavioral and cultural aspect of the Gambian society. Mm -hmm. So that's why I felt it's very significant. When I, when I won the award here in the Gambia and outside, I'm like, people are now reading our literature. That excited me so much. Okay. I'm like, people are noticing our country. Because if you look at African literature in general, it mm -hmm. comprises of few nations mm -hmm. like Nigeria, Ghana, etc. Mm -hmm. You hardly they mention Gambia. Sure, absolutely. So, so that's why I'm playing my quota in that aspect. So that because every nation relies on the strength and productive versatility of her youth in championing mm -hmm. socio-economic and political advancement, and yeah. that includes literature. Uh, because what I'm trying to do mm -hmm. is to transform. The that oral literature, that oral rich culture of the Gambia that our grandma, grandpas used to tell mm. under the booze fire, they will sit down and light fire and tell stories to the kids. It's no longer in existence yeah. and that is what I'm putting into a written literature. If you read any of my books, you will be drawn into that beautiful culture of okay. our own country. Indeed. Uh, that's very well. We, we, we should um, talk about January 7 now, the launch of the book. But again, uh, the way you speak, I mean, when watching or listening to you, you might think uh, this is so much has been easy thing to do. There has not been challenges. But, but how was it like? Did you at any point feel distracted or maybe feel, uh, face hurdles along the line? That yeah. probably that you, yeah. at some point you want to retract <laughs> and said, this is not the way for me. But despite the dream and all that, uh, how was there any challenges along the line in, 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 since you started um, writing books? Thank you very much. Hardly people ask me this question when I go to I mean, different platforms yeah. to talk about my book. Yeah. Uh, but uh, I give credit to you for being very professional Thank in you. that Thank aspect. You. Thank you. Uh, I am going to be very explicit. Okay. I face a lot of issues and challenges mm. uh, because a successful person is the one who can lay a firm foundation mm -hmm. with the bricks that others throw onto him mm -hmm. or her. If people throw <laughs> stones and bricks on you, you take them to lay your foundation. That makes you a successful human being because nobody is perfect. Yes. But perfection itself is very imperfect. Mm -hmm. So in order to be human, you have to understand the human nature and the mindset. Yeah. And the Gambia happened to be one of the countries in, in Africa which should have a bill passed at the National Assembly against the wall of word Anyan Aksohor mm -hmm. and the Mandinka word Hasidia Aningjawya. This would, this would pass a bill at the National Assembly <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> so okay. that we, we, we make it a law a for law. people to abolish those things because it's affecting our nation. Oh. I passed through a lot of those complications and issues. In fact, at some point in my life, yeah. I was being accused of sexual harassment, a lot of things. Yeah. You know, when I was Secretary General of the Writers Association of the Gambia. Oh. So I faced a lot of challenges in my life. Okay. But I'm somebody who do not respond to people and critics. I listen to them a lot. Anything they say, I take note of it. If they say you drink alcohol, I'll make sure that they don't see me holding the bottle, drinking it. So uh, if you want to be successful, you don't listen to what people say. Mm -hmm. 
If you hear it, it's fine, but make sure you work extra hard okay. to prove beyond that doubt that uh, you have a purpose in life. And to be great itself is a challenge Absolutely. because, <laughs> yeah. you know, greatness comes with a lot of yeah. hurdles. Indeed. And I was successfully able to tackle them through faith, right. my faith in, in Islam, in Allah, and through hard work. Right. You know, so uh, I am proud to say that it, the struggle continues. All right. I, yes. I know it's, it's good that we talk about these issues because I know young people out there who might be watching might be already inspired by the work that you do and the things that you say that you have did already. Yeah. But then the journey continues. Now, uh, talking about to the main issue why you are here, that's the uh, book launch on the 7th of January. Uh, don't 